interested in that participating. <laughs> okay. What were the two questions? What do you? Why do you believe what you believe? Presuming you're a Christian, I presume you're a Christian. So why do you believe that? Why do you believe in Christianity? Because um, Christianity one the belief system, we'll call it, is based on a man that's alive. Okay. Right? It's the only belief system where the founder is alive. Okay, so the resurrection of Jesus right. convinces you that Christianity is true. Right, and there are abundant proofs of God about Jesus Christ being raised. Give me the best one. Well, just looking at it, the believers before he was raised from the dead, uh -huh. hid, hid from. Well, all, that's all we know about that is the the story itself. We don't have any reports. No, we do. We have the, the Fox is a Book of Martyrs that talks about the different believers in uh -huh. the 100th century. And what's that based on? What, where, what's his source for that? Well, he was there at the time. Fox is Book of Martyrs. Okay. So he was there documenting, similar to what you're doing. Okay. By documenting people's belief, he was documenting the martyrs' belief system. Belief okay. And what they did and how their life changed dramatically from what they saw. Okay. And they were eyewitnesses to the account. Okay. Right? And so besides that, just that historical evidence of Jesus, just okay. his evidence of working in my in my own life. Okay. On a, on a regular basis. Uh, when he's me? taken me from, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, but, you know, just bringing the change in my own life. Okay. So I guess that's some personal character transformation, something like that? Yes. yes. Okay. So that's additional. Okay. Prayer. Okay. And then, you know, just other things like he, my knee was healed. Oh. I was scheduled for knee surgery. Uh huh. And about two weeks before that knee surgery, I just in prayer was encouraged in the Lord not to do the surgery mm -hmm. and just to get prayer from people. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter who they were, I mean, well, they were believers, right? And then I just asked people to pray for me. Mm -hmm. And I started getting a little bit better and a little bit better, and I decided, hey, just, to, just be challenged to not get the surgery. That was over three years ago now. Okay. And, um, you know, I could ride the bike, do all the things I wasn't able to do with it. I see. You know, so it, your knee's healed now? Yeah, knee's healed. Okay. Okay. Uh, so why should I believe? Documented by the doctor, right? It was documented by the doctor? Yeah. Okay. The meniscus tear, yeah. Okay. So the meniscus tear healed? Yeah. Okay. And why should you believe? And, 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 and that's a supernatural occurrence? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the doctor said, well, a, they don't normally heal themselves, but we'll take a look. And he said, I, I have nothing I can say. Okay. So. Okay. And, All right. And why should you? Yeah, so why should I believe? Well, the first question I think any, each person needs to ask himself, and they, everybody has a decision, a choice, but did Jesus Christ live on earth? Mm-hmm. Right? Do you believe that he lived on earth? Okay. And then, did he raise from the dead? Okay. Well, it's hard to establish something 2,000 years ago, much less something supernatural 2,000 years ago. Well, but there's abundant evidence if we're willing to look and take the time uh -huh. to look at it. I see. Without preconceived ideas about what has happened, just let the evidence speak for itself. Uh huh. And it will. I see. I see. So, so that's once that decision is made, and it's. It, People can make that decision, even though, based on the facts, they can decide, you know what, even though I see what's, what's being said here, we can decide to say, well, there's still something missing for me. I don't believe that it's 100% so, true. So, so you believe the facts are indisputable? Yeah, I do. And the, history, the historical conclusion is undeniable. Just as simply as uh, uh, the South lost the Battle of Gettysburg, we can establish that Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And and so you're satisfied that if Jesus rose from the dead, the Bible's true, Christianity's true, all that other well, stuff. Well, what right? does it mean if he rose from the dead? Okay. Tell me. No, I'm asking. 
I, I already know my opinion. <laughs> but what does that mean? If he rose from the dead, what does it mean? Just, just, just accept the fact that he rose from the dead. What does it mean? What would be evidence that he was some sort of supernatural being? That, that, that would be good evidence. Yeah, I mean, since, since we don't, since we don't know, I mean, most dead things are dead. Most dead. My dog's dead. Okay. Died when I was uh, 11 years old. It's still dead, as far as right, I know. Right. Uh, so most most uh, animals that die, I think human beings are pretty much animals. Are dead. That's all the evidence says. So. So, uh, to, to you, the historical evidence of Jesus Christ from the rising from the dead is compelling enough to set aside the scientific evidence. Well, it wasn't, that, again, not just that, because then I've seen his the evidence of him being alive uh -huh. in my own life. Okay. Now, you're aware there's claims of other people rising from the dead. Not, not that are still alive. <laughs> well, yeah, of other mythological Ooh. characters. So. There's plenty of them. Who? And, I, and I'm sorry, what was your name? No, I'm not giving my name. Oh, that's okay. it. I didn't, ask, just your I didn't ask your name. No, but. I'm just asking your first name. Oh, that's, a, that's all right. No, you, okay. you, you, can call me, you can call me Sam if you want. I don't care. Sam? Okay, Sam. So, yeah, who, who, who is there that still claims that they're still alive? I, I don't know of any. Anybody. Okay. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, none of those. Okay. So. so so, if you found other uh, mythological creatures, well, what do you mean? Not, that, if you found that's other, an assumption, well, that's right? true. Um, yeah, most most people take claims of supernatural natural occurrences as myth. For example, if you told me Gandhi rose from the dead, I would have a hard time believing. It. Right. If you told me Gandhi was a good guy that made peace without war, I could believe that. But the more supernatural claims you make, the more difficult it is to believe. In Jesus' day, the more supernatural claims you made, the more authority your teachings had. That's why Caesars were proclaimed God and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right? So supernatural claims were common 2,000 years ago. People don't make supernatural claims now because it discredits all their other claims. Okay. Okay. In any case, you're convinced, you're convinced that the well, evidence of, res of the resurrection of Jesus is compelling enough to establish the truth of Christianity, along with personal experience. Personal, right? yeah, just, yeah. Okay. And that, you know, there were, I don't know, this is over 500 people that saw him alive. Well, the only, the, only, the only account you have of that is the Bible. That's the only account you have of 500 people seeing him, and those 500 didn't write their own accounts. Right. So, so what are you saying? It's, it's I'm saying I'm saying the resurrection of Jesus. It's, it's been established that what the Bible says today is what was written 2,000 years ago. Well, it all depends on what you read. Uh, right. There's there's plenty of scholars that'll deny that. Excuse me, what are, you, what are you doing? I should believe because because of the resurrection of yes. Jesus and well, the, you want to advance any other arguments? No, that's where it starts. It's a decision you make on your own based, mm -hmm. on, based on the evidence. No, there's plenty, there's plenty of Christians that believe on the resurrection of Jesus that end up in all different places. What do you mean? Uh, there's... Uh, Eastern Orthodox Christians who believe in the resurrection, who have entirely different doctrines than Western evangelicals. Yeah, I don't know about the central truth of being different. Okay. I mean, yeah, there's, you know, we're all different people have own personalities. So, so you have no difficulty with Catholics. Catholics have a fairly different theology than Protestants. I mean, it wasn't until a century or two that we stopped killing each other over that stuff. Yeah, I need to get back over here and pray okay. with you, Sam, but it was good talking to you. All right, so, okay, so I should believe because I sh because no, of the resurrection no, of Christ. There's no should about it. It's a decision that you make on your own. There's no should. What if I don't? That's up to you. And then what? I've read your book. It says yeah. bad things happen to me. Do you believe that? If I don't believe, bad things will happen? You just have to wait and see. I mean, I... I, I, I well, you say you believe the book. Right, I did. So if I don't believe, I'm telling you I don't believe, what's likely to happen to me?
Yeah. Well, pleading the fifth, huh? No, I just I, I need to get here to what I'm here for and praying with people. Okay. So talking to talking to infidels about your faith and what you're here for. Huh? No. No, okay. I'm here to pray with people. I want to get some prayer. I mean, I'd be glad to talk with you later, but I need. I'm okay. Here to pray. Fair enough. All right, Sam. Thanks. Thank you.